Peter McGuire, Chief Executive Officer of uh, XM.com. He's joining us right now on the phone line from Sydney. Peter, thanks very much for taking out the time. Indeed, a really big move and uh, creates a lot of uncertainty with regards to the volatility of crude prices going forward and uh, when they can actually kickstart production yet again from the earthquake facility. Well, a good morning, and yes, it certainly does. You know, if anyone says that they can get it back online in five days, I find that quite a... Uh, uh, quite an interesting statement. I think it'll be a little bit longer than that, but let's see what can happen. But, uh, you know, to take that, that many millions of barrels of production out of the market really does have a big impact, and that was demonstrated in the last matter of hours as far as price spike, the largest in history. So that shows us the severity of the market. What does this do with regards to the short-term to medium-term volatility, and do you expect crude oil prices to go beyond $70 per barrel? We had an intraday high of about 71.95, but also the fact that this would really cast a shadow on Aramco's big stake sale plans. Well, exactly. First part of it is, yes, the uncertainty as far as the IPO. That really creates uh, a great degree of um, frustration and naturally uh, really derails the whole IPO project in some ways. Shows the vulnerability of the Saudi um, uh, supply. Also demonstrates from a security angle if this is going to be a normal course of events and where does that leave price, um, I suppose, volatility. So they're really two major impacts to you know the IPO. The second part of it, of course, is if these, if these are to continue, and no one knows that, no one knows what the future is, it shows um, you know, the world where it sits as far as the volatility of the actual commodity. And whilst you've got a slowing global economy, um, to any market that can have a price spike of 15 18% over a matter of hours really demonstrates you know, the, how, how we're all addicted to crude oil and uh, those storylines aren't changing. Interestingly, because Saudi Arabia, uh, you know, up until now has been talking about how $80 per barrel is favorable for them. But nonetheless, you know, the recent uh, OPEC Plus meeting and the fact that they've told all member countries uh, to make sure that they keep production levels as per what was agreed in the deal. Uh, what does this do with regards to that and the supply then? Well, you know, we understand where OPEC Plus sit in all of this and the world's awash with oil. You, you know, they've got strategic reserves and we're not going to run out of it in the short run. But where it does have an impact as far as the Asian supply lines or, or supply crunches that could really escalate over the next matter of weeks, if you have continued strikes, is going to be, you know, the downstream products that come out of Saudi. And all of those components greatly affect all forms of supply chains um, all across Asia and you know, to a global economy. So that really is the, the, you know, those choke points. And then when you sit uh, and, and understand President Trump's mantra of, that he's locked and loaded, what does that mean? So, you know, the, I don't think this geopolitical side has gone away in any fashion or form. And it will be fascinating to, to see how it plays out over the next matter of, you know, hours and days uh, and impact that has to price discovery. Got that. Peter, uh, just a quick word on your uh, medium-term target for crude. Well, look, if we see continued um, geopolitical tensions, if this is a one-off event, then prices will probably, you know, they'll naturally fall back to, you know, trim off a, quite a few percent. But if, if these continued um, attacks, then you're going to see price spikes and, you know, there's no reason why you can't put another 10 or $15 on from here. And, you know, it could quite conceivably be a lot higher if, if you uh, have a breakout from a geopolitical side, you know, I'll keep your eye on President Trump and uh, Mike Pompeo. That. Peter, thanks very much for joining us. A quick update coming in from Thank Peter you. McGuire there.